3 p.m. case, not 10 Gam Nuye, Sime Spoon Corporation, trading as Thai Landing, 1207 North Charles Street, Class B, beer, wine, and liquor license, violation of Rule 4.18. Corporate charter is not in good standing with Maryland Department of Assessments and Taxation. Violation of Rule 3.02. Licensee failed to appear at scheduled hearing and has failed to provide a certificate of good standing for the limited liability company as required. Everybody testifying, please step forward and raise your right hand. <coughs> you swear or affirm the testimony. You swear or affirm the testimony you're about to give will be the truth, the whole truth. All right, good afternoon. Are you Ms. Tangamwe? Yes. All right, uh, and you are here because according to our records, you are not in good standing with the State Department of Assessments and Taxation as of September 13th of this year. Do you admit or deny that? Well, now, later, because I, it's totally a mistake because actually that, um, that's what uh, my, my, last year, it was my accountant to buy for me sign and send the check and that's but I probably missed the mail or something so it was a mistake so I did not buy 2012 so after I received this um, the first notice I received this I called them and found out I have to pay I have to go there and find my uh, 2012 by myself so I did and it was like another misunderstanding because I thought that I don't have to come here. This case could be dropped. And she said, I probably don't have to do anything. I don't know, maybe misunderstanding, misinterpretation or something. But I, right. I totally thought that I don't have to appear for it. But then I found out that, you know, it's not. All right, help the board. Give the board a better understanding. Okay. And tell us what okay. documents, if any, you have here today that you'd like us to see that would show that are now in good standing. Yes, I have a um, certificate of good standing. Thank you. Today. And that is dated October 25th. Okay, and again, the day after you were served, you went and took care of this, right? I took care of it, but I, made, I, I did not ask for a certificate of good standing in September because I, I didn't know what it is. Right. It was my, you know, first business. So I didn't know what it is until later when I get the second uh, second notice, this one, I went back there, so they told me this, that I need to get the certificate of good standing. All right, what I don't know, so what you're saying is when you got served the first time on mm -hmm. September 18th, <coughs> you didn't know what it was all about? I, I didn't know what it was about, so I went to ask that. Right. When did you do that, though? Because we're getting to the second charge now, um, and that is that you did you were a no-show, no-call, failure to appear on October 11th, even though you were served on September 18th, or at least a parody Binder was served. Binder. Does parody work yeah. for you? It's my staff, yes. Your staff. And did you become aware? Did, did uh, parody give you a notice telling you to come to City Hall on October 11th? Eleven. I did. That that was I received that letter that letter in September. September twenty fourth, eighteen. According 18th. to our records, yes. personally served, and it says on here, if you send us this document, the good standing document, by October fourth, mm -hmm. you don't have to come to court on the eleventh. Yeah. And you got it, and you have to send us one hundred and twenty five dollars. Yeah, it's it's totally. I totally misunderstand about that, but after I received that letter, the next day or the next few days, I went to ESTAT to find my 2012. But it was a mistake. I did not get the certificate of good standing and follow the process. All right. We are not, is your trader's license up to date? Oh, I, I yes. did not. It is. Yeah, All right, and is. this is Agent John Howard. I note that because on your document, it doesn't say we need to see your trader's license. It just says we need your good standing. But, but Agent John Howard, your inspector, has told us that he has checked and your uh, trader's license is up to date. Right. All right. 
uh -huh. can we have this or do you need to fax us a copy of this? You can have that. Okay, we'll take the original of the good standing certificate. If you ever need it, you can always get a copy from us. All right, is there anything else you'd like to say? Uh, nothing, it's just probably the learning process because right. I don't know the process. How long have you been a licensee? Uh, 2010. All right. But I, I work there like part time. So, you know, because I'm, uh, we, we have like different partners working together. So, you know, sometimes, yeah. So it's, it's just a learning process and it was Sure. Nice All right, just make sure if you ever are confused <laughs> to call, and sometimes the phone is difficult, come down in person and come see us and we'll make sure that you, know, you need everything you need to know, we'll tell you so that this doesn't happen again, okay? Okay. All right, anything else you'd like to say? Um, no, thank you. All right, anything else, commissioners? No. no. All right, then let's go off the record and go to our decision phase. Thursday, November 8th, 2012, three o'clock docket. Sir, uh, Serena uh, Tim Gamnue, Siam Spoon Corp, trading as Tide Landing, 1207 North Charles Street. A 4.18 violation indicating that the uh, corporate charter was not in good standing on September 13th, 2012. We have been presented with a certificate of good standing dated October 25th, 2012 from the State of Maryland Department of Assessments and Taxation. And we do note that the licensee is guilty by preponderance of the evidence, not in good standing as of September 13, 2012, but has rectified the situation. Uh, it is a guilty fine, finding at a fine of $250. As far as the remaining charge, the 3.02 charge, alleging that you did not cooperate with the board by failing to appear. We do find that there's some confusion as to your um, ability uh, to understand whether or not an appearance was required on that date. So we're gonna find you not guilty of that charge. So it's $250 and there is still that $125 hearing fee that we're gonna have to pay all along even if you didn't come down to see us. So it is a grand total of $375. How soon can you pay that? Today, today, uh, we'll take it today. <laughs> yeah, I can pay today Great. to get over, and that'll clear it up. We don't need any more paperwork from you, and go back and, and do the business, and hopefully we won't see you anytime soon. Okay. All right. Thank okay. you very much, uh, Miss Tangamway. Good luck to you. All right. We're off the record, and we are adjourned. <laughs>